three points on the road and an <coughs> first win for David Hopkin. You must be pretty pleased with that tonight. Yeah, obviously, I'm very happy uh, to get three points. Um, you know, the lads put a, a real shift in tonight. Um, it's not the easiest places to come. Um, I've played here before, and you know it's a tough place to come. You know what you're going to get. Um, you know they, they they pile balls forward and you know throw throw balls into the box every chance they get. Put balls into the box um, every chance they get. And the lads, um, that every man for man on the pitch today, everyone stand up and had to stand up and be counted for. Even the young lads. You know, I think you've seen young lads today become men. You know they had to. So yeah, I'm happy to get three points, but. Can't get carried away. Got to keep building now and take that into Saturday. And you, you know, you led from the front. You had to move out of central defence quite early. To take Jim's spot. You pretty content with how you played tonight? Yeah. Well, I just had to had to just do my job and be be solid. You know, I was near enough playing as a third as a third centre half really, but just playing a little bit further. Um, you know, I was probably probably sitting a bit deeper to to what Lewis to what Lewis was. You know, so um, so yeah, happy happy enough with how I played, but. You know, it's unfortunate for Jim to obviously pick up an injury, but um, you know, I had to do my bit for the team, and you know, the most important thing was three points uh, at this stage. Now, I mean, you're part of the squad. You you played pretty much every game. How much adversity is the team have to overcome going into tonight? You know, losing Owen Doyle, well, obviously planned, and then Jim O'Brien barely lasting half an hour tonight. It makes it. I'm sure it makes the game plan a little bit harder to sort of fulfil. Yeah, but that's that's been the story of the season so far. We're not been getting the rubber to green. Um, you know, since the gaffers come in, we should have had we should have a lot more points on the board. Um, Blackpool away should have easily won that game. Um, for recent weeks, we should have had penalties. You know, for fun. Um, so it's about time we got a bit of luck tonight, and you know we were due a penalty. Um, you know, the amount of penalties we should have had from recent weeks is unbelievable. So about time we got one tonight. Penny um, manages to hold it together, stick it in the back of the net, and from there on in it was, you know, just being solid and being hard to beat and. We could have we could have got another goal or two, you know. It could have been three 0 But listen, um, it, it's 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 a start. Uh, you know, it's it's four points now in the last two games. Um, the squad seems to be getting fitter, seems to be getting stronger, and there's a good spirit at the minute. And the gaffer is um is making us better week in week out. So yeah, just build on it now and take it into uh, into the next game. Can you feel some momentum starting to build? Do you think you know you've got something to work from now? You're not looking at a defeat. You're looking at a victory. You now you can improve on that victory rather than. You know, as you said, Blackpool a disappointing loss. Yeah, it's you know uh, when you when you're losing games, you know it's 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 not a nice place. It's not it's not a good place to be in. You know, everyone seems you, you, everyone seems to be against you. You know, you, you think everyone's against you, and you know the luck just seems to be going against you, which it was for us. You know, it's hard to just get out of it, and we needed to break that break that um that duck as fast as we could. And uh, we did that Saturday, you know, we, we didn't win, but we should have won, you know, and had a blatant penalty, a handball on the line, the luck wasn't with us again, but we managed to get a point on the board and, you know, we said finally, we, we got, at least we got something on the board and we could build on it and now tonight it's three points, um, but as I said, we can't get carried away, it's, um, it's, only, it's only four points, it's a long season to go and we've got to keep digging in week in, week out, um, and uh, it's another tough, tough game on Saturday, but hopefully the lads will... Um, and put another good shift in. Just lastly, 250 Bradford fans here tonight. That's a great effort on a Tuesday night in, in London. You're going to need every inch of that support on Saturday against Sunderland, don't you? Yeah, fair play to them travelling down to you know to Wimbledon on a, on a Tuesday on a Tuesday night is not easy. You know, so it's nice now to give finally give them three points to travel back up back up the road. You know, and put a smile on their faces. But um, but yeah, hope get behind us again on Saturday. You know that. I think you're starting to see you now a bit, of, a bit of spirit, a bit of fight on the pitch. You know, and I'll, I'll openly say, you know, a few weeks ago we were probably a bit of a soft touch. You know, but, and that's not to say we've got soft players or anything. That just means we were, we, we just looked as if we were easy to beat. You know, and you know, teams probably uh, were smelling that against us when they used to play against us. But now, now they're starting to see um, a real strong physical side and a team that's hard, uh, hard to break, break down and hard to beat. You know, two clean sheets now in the bunks. Obviously, it's that's nice for for us defenders. But um, but yeah, uh, and now the lads uh, at the, at the top end of the pitch seem to be um, seem to be um, getting chances, creating more chances, seem to be getting fitter. So yeah, as long as we can keep the ball on out and on 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 our end of the pitch, hopefully they can win it for us at the other end of the pitch.